Hello guys and you welcome back. In our last lesson we saw how we could install GeoPandas and Descrates. This time around let's go ahead and start working with GeoPandas. So the first thing I'm going to do is to import GeoPandas. So I'm going to import GeoPandas as GPD and let's just give that space and zoom in and I'm going to import Shapely. as SHP and also from Shapely I'm going to import um, the polygon and line string so I'm just going to say from Shapely import polygon and comma and line string just like that so if I run that So let's just go ahead and see what that. So this is shapely dot geometry. Sorry about that, guys. Shapely dot geometry class. So we're going to import line string. Now we can get help from our geometry by saying uh, help, and we could just pass in shp. That's shapely dot geometry. And if you run that, we should get the built-in default help. This is going to show you the classes that exist. For instance, we can see we have multi-string, multi-point, po multi-polygon, point polygon, and proxy. So these are all classes that exist. And if you actually take your time and uh, kind of look at this, you can see some of the examples that I used to actually create these. For example, this is a simple uh, basic example that shows you how to create a point. We can also get help on a specific class for instance, if we wanted to get help on Polygon, we could just say help on shp.geometry.polygon. Just like that, and I'm going ahead and uh, comment this out. And if I run this, this should give me specific help on the Polygon class right there. And we can even see a simple example of how to create this uh, uh, class for the uh, geometry polygon shape. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. So what I'm going to do next is just use a basic example of see how we can create a polygon and plot that polygon using a matplotlib plot. So I'm just going to call that uh, pol underscore one and I'll just call in the uh, polygon. And then here I'm just going to create a list and of pair values, right? So I'm going to create three points for our polygon shape, and these are going to be comma separated. So I'll start from point zero comma zero, and then I'll move up to point zero comma one, and then go to point one comma zero. So I'll just go ahead and copy this, and let's just paste that and paste it again because I want to use three. Points. So I'm going to call this poly underscore two, and this is pol because I want it to be a short for a polygon, just like that. And for these next set of points, I'm going to set this as one, comma zero, and I'm going to leave that as one, comma zero as well. But for this point, I'm going to set it as two, comma zero. 3 comma 1 and also 3 comma 0. So let me just go ahead and create the uh, series to hold a reference for these points I just created. So I'm just going to say g underscore series which is going to be equal to a gpd which is going to be our geopandas dot geo series. I'm going to pass in a list of these points. So this is going to be pull underscore 1 comma pull underscore two comma pull underscore three just like that so if we go ahead and run our g underscore series let's just run that we can see we have a uh, geometry that shows these polygons so we have three polygons with each of these points represented if we wanted to plot these points we're just going to say g underscore series dot plot 
and we could see a uh, matplotlib axis subplot that shows the region and area. If we wanted to see the area, we could just see g underscore series one dot area, and I'm just going ahead and let's just run that so we can see the area, and it's giving us the data type that represents the uh, area as a float. So we can also create a line string since we actually are imported line string here. Let's see how we can create a line string. So I'll create an object called NNS and this will be part of the uh, line string. So I'm calling the line string class and I'm going to pass in a list of uh, points. So I'll just create three points and separate them with a comma. And I'll just move on to set, let's say, a 30, 10. And for my second point, I'm using 10, 30. And then we use a 40, 40 for this uh, point. And let's go ahead and plot this. So let's say uh, LNS underscore PLT. And let's set that to a geo series. So let's say. Uh, GPD or geopandas dot geo series and then we'll pass in our LNS so let's go ahead and run that so let's just say LNS underscore PLT dot plot so plot that on our matplotlib axis so we can actually see those uh, line strings we created right now if we wanted to create a uh, polygon let's quickly see that example so I'll create an object reference called P and I'll call the polygon. Yep, I'm just being mindful of my spelling and I'll just pass in the set of polygonal uh, points. So I have the first set, second set, third set and the fourth set. So this uh, right off the bat we know that it's going to be a four-sided uh, figure. So I'll just pass in 30 comma 10 and here I'll pass in 40 comma 40 and I'll pass in 20 comma 40 and then for my last point I'm just going to pass in uh, so we have 30 comma 10 40 40 20 40 I'm going to pass in 10 comma 20 and then to close that shape Let's go ahead and pass in our final point. Let's say 30, 10. All right. So let's create our geo series. So I'm just going to say a P1 is equal to our geo pandas, our GPD dot geo series. And I'll pass in our point. And we plot our point. We're just going to say P1 dot plot. And let's just go ahead and run that. And you can see we have our uh, polygonal uh, shape. So also GeoPandas contains a natural earth uh, file and it also contains the natural earth city files. So let's go ahead and do that to see how we can uh, make our plots, our world uh, map plots using uh, GeoPandas and matplotlib. So I'll create an object called world underscore mp and I'll use the geopandas.read file to read a file from the built-in data sets. So I'm just going to say gpd.read file. I think it's underscore read file, just like that. And I'm simply going to say gpd.datasets.getPath. And the path we want to get is the natural earth on the score low res that's a low resolution representation and let's just go ahead and run that so if we wanted to actually see this data we're just going to see world on the score mp dot tail just to see the last elements of that uh, data set and you can see this represents our data just like a pandas uh, data frame so we actually have our rows and we have our columns arranged. So let's go ahead and load up another uh, data set for the cities. So I'm just going to create an object called cities and I'll do a GPD. Is our Joe pandas dot read underscore file. And again, I'm just going to say my GPD dot 
datasets dot get underscore path and I'll be reading from another built-in dataset of the Natural Earth series. So I'm just going to say Natural Earth underscore cities. And I'll go ahead and run that also. So to see that information, I'll just create a cell underneath and just say uh, cities dot head. And I just want to see the first two elements. So we have the Vatican City and we have San Marino. So these are the two. Uh, so we have the name and the geometry. And remember, the geometry represents two points, just like we can see in our examples right here when we're working with uh, GeoPandas. So right now, what we can do is to plot our world map right here. I'll create it. So let's go ahead and just say world underscore mp dot plot. And we can actually see a world map using matplotlib's axis subplots. So let's just say a plotting a world map, just like that. We can have that axis dot plot subplot. So on the columns, we have this uh, GDP underscore MD underscore East. Let's go ahead and see how we can just quickly uh, plot that also. So we're just going to say a world underscore MP dot plot and then as an argument we can pass in the column and we can set that column to be the gdp underscore mp underscore e i think it's est let me just check it quickly just to be sure it's est and let's go ahead and just plot that column oops so it says we don't have let's go ahead and see what we did right there So it says we have a key error and let's see where that key error hmm. I'm just quickly go ahead so looking at this error I think the problem is because we've already have a plot already and we're trying to override this plot that exists let's see what happens when we take this and just cut that and place that within our world plot and run that cell. I think, okay, it has to do with the, let's see, we have GDP underscore MD. Oh, sorry about that guys, it was a typo. So uh, right here, the column name says, uh, let me just get back here and show you where that problem is coming from. It actually does not see that column name because I actually uh, spelled out rubbish. So sorry about that, guys. And so it's GDP underscore MD, not MP. So it's MD underscore East. So if I switch this back to MD, we shouldn't have a problem. Really sorry about that, guys. So you can actually see how uh, if I am uh, uh, being careless, I can actually create more problems within my code. So it was actually a uh, D, not a P. So it's actually plotting out this uh, section from the uh, world map. So we're not going to go deeply into GeoPandas, but it's just to show you that we can with GeoPandas, you can see how easy it is to use these uh, kind of like choropleth maps because choropleth maps are actually polygons, right? So we can actually have polygonal representation. And if you have GeoJSON data, for instance, like we saw our built-in uh, data set that has these uh, geometries, you can actually plot those geometries and you can see those shapes on the uh, output right here. We can see those on the uh, output and you can see those are points. So thank you very much for watching, guys. In our next lesson, we're going to be using GeoPandas and look at our election data set from the uh, GitHub Plopli, uh, API that contains a uh, GeoJSON file. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.